And that's me. I was a ballerina when I was little. Kodak moments. I like this one. This is my parents and I. Peg Myrick loves to reminisce. I drew a lot of strength and inspiration for her because from her. About moments gone by. This was my high school graduation. But this Chesterfield native is only interested in making new memories. Absolutely. Taking full advantage of life, a life that has been dealt serious challenges. In my gut and my heart, I could I knew something was wrong. Halloween 2016, Peg receives the scariest news that Dr. Kin deliver. I was actually misdiagnosed for over 10 months because I was told I was too young for colorectal cancer. A colonoscopy reveals the truth. So to wake up and be told that I did have cancer and to find out it had already spread to my liver and that I was stage four, it was a shock. One month later, her mom Pam was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer. Mom would pass four months later on April Fool's Day. This chair was my mother's chair. It means a lot to me to be able to sit in this chair and think about her. The resilient 39-year-old was on a clinical trial which initially showed promise. I'm just kind of documenting my experiences here on my blog. But on Valentine's Day, doctors say the medicine did not work. It was not an easy conversation at all. Peg was given three to six months to live. That's where I'm at in my journey right now, and, and I'm at peace with that. Peg is not wasting one month, week, day, hour, or minute. And the only thing we're guaranteed is that we're going to die, and to me, it's not how long you live, it's how you live your life each day. The former school teacher in Hanover County is taking on a new role as ambassador for Fight CRC. In March, Peg will appear on a billboard in Times Square. We're encouraging everybody to stay up to date on their screenings and really listen to their body. With so little time left, you would understand if Peg was bitter. I've always been an optimist. I always try to look at the glass half full. Nothing could be further from the truth. I'd rather continue to push through and live each day to the fullest. Cancer has given Peg a new perspective and a bucket list. It's my family at the beach. From seeing the ocean one more time and high tea at the Jefferson to visiting Canada. I think it's been a lesson for me that even before cancer, I should have and I encourage everyone to live each day like it's your last. No one's guaranteed another day cancer or not. Cancer may be robbing her of time, but Peg Myrick isn't phased. She's too busy making new memories. From here on out, I'm going to just focus on spending time with my loved ones, um, with my family and with my close friends, checking some things off the bucket list and just uh, trying to enjoy every day. March kicks off Colorectal Awareness Month. You're encouraged to wear blue on March 1st to show your support. Now, as for Peg Myrick, she'll be crossing another item off of her bucket list April 7th. That day, Peg will be throwing out the first pitch at the Flying Squirrels game at the Diamond.